Thai food is so delicious. If you haven't tried it, you don't know what you're missing. And Pad Thai is probably its most famous dish. And after today, you too will be able to cook it at home. Why? Because that's what we're cooking. And you are gonna love it. Thai cuisine is a cuisine that is full of bold flavors and it aims to balance sweet and salty and sour and acid and savory and they are probably the best at it. And Pad Thai is a great representation of this concept. Pad means stir fry. So literally Pad Thai means Thai stir fry. And it is so popular in Thailand that it's literally street food in Bangkok. When it comes to technique, cooking the pad thai is not difficult at all, but it has a long list of ingredients. And as you know already on this show, we try to find authentic recipes and we try to follow authentic and use authentic ingredients. So you may not find one of these things, it's okay. Just skip one or two and overall, it's gonna be great. Man, I cannot wait. So first, we're gonna get organized. The French call this mise en place. And all mise en place is, is having all the ingredients and the tools that you need right in front of you. Cooking is always about ingredients, time, and temperature. That is why it's so important to find the best ingredients you can find and just follow technique and pay attention to that temperature. Now we'll prep all the ingredients and put them in what we call the conga line, which is nothing but the order that we use them in the recipe. Mise en place is less stress. Let's prep. Now it's time for shout outs. These are the people that are cooking our food, taking pictures and letting us know about it. Man, you should do that one day. Kathy Briseño, she is on her quest to buy a thousand and cook every recipe on this show. And she just did the lomo saltado. And even today, she made the oxtail, the braised oxtail. And oh my God, she sent me the pictures. I wanna go there to eat. We are so excited to see you cooking our food. We get inspired, so keep them coming. Okay, we are ready to go. I'm gonna turn on the sound a little bit, right? And I'm gonna try to speak as close to the mic as possible so you can hear me better. Now, the conga line is ready. You can see that, right? Because especially on a recipe like this one that has so many ingredients, you wanna make sure that you're putting them in the order that you need them in the recipe. All right, so a little bit of oil. This thing, as you can tell, is super hot already.
So we just wanna give it some color and just wanna cook that for about a minute. The same with the chicken. Again, with the chicken, you just wanna cook it to about medium also because it's gonna have some time to cook again with the noodles. Okay, so we're gonna take the chicken out. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. This thing is hot. Touch of oil, the onions, and the garlic. Wow, smells delicious here. Now, some people, some recipes, I'm using onions because I didn't have shallots. Uh, you're gonna see shallots um, and onions used interchangeably, and some people don't even use either. So, if you don't have it, or you don't like the taste of one, or you're allergic like my friend, friend Dan, don't use it. Okay, I'm gonna add tofu, and the dry shrimp. We're gonna cook this for about two to three minutes. Okay, we're gonna move now everything to one side. Put some oil and we're gonna fry the eggs. So we're gonna let them cook like that, like a fried egg, the white and the yolk separate and then we're gonna scramble. Now mix everything together. Now we're gonna add the noodles. As you can see, they reconstituted, and that's all you need to do to them. And we're gonna cook them for about two to three minutes here. There's a little bit of water, which is fine. We're gonna add turnip. We're gonna add a little bit of this spicy chili. And add back the shrimp and the chicken. I lowered the heat, the heat a little bit before and just kept it like that. Just wanna be able to move this around. Now we're gonna add the sauce. Now we're gonna make a little, like, a little well in the center. We're gonna add the chives. We're gonna add pink sprouts and the peanuts. And, and I left some of that for the for plating. So we're just gonna kind of fold everything on top of the vegetables. We don't want to cook the vegetables so much. All right, so you want to save some of the noodle water and just be able to use that because this dish, number one, needs to be a little bit wet. Not runny, but it needs to feel kind of wet. And also, the noodles need to cook properly, right? They, they need to feel kind of al dente if you think of Italian pasta. And this were still not cooked through enough. So doing that, we just use the water and we're cooking it for another two to three minutes. Okay. This is kind of the consistency you're looking for. Finally, my favorite moment, taste test. It looks amazing to me. It's the consistency we're looking for. We add a little bit of the peanuts, squeeze the lime. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, this is it. Mm. That Thai chili and the sriracha give it, gives it a kick. That is wonderful. Ah, some my chicken. Mm. I love it. It came out great. 
and you can literally feel spiciness, obviously, the sweetness, the sourness, a little bit of acid. It's just fantastic. And uh, as you know, I like champagne, or in this case, Prosecco, uh, with spicy food and Asian flavors. Oh, I think it just works perfectly. You know what? I want Joanna to give me the, the verdict here because uh, this is one of our favorite dishes, so let's switch. Hello, everyone. Time for the taste test. Okay, so let's see. It smells delicious in this kitchen. Mmm. Amazing. Incredible. There's a little spice to it. Unexpected, but very nice. I eat spicy. I don't I need super spicy, but this one works. Champagne. Mmm. Really good, babe. Great job. Mmm. And now let me try the chicken. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice with a little pepper there. Yummy dance, baby. Mm -hmm. So good. It works. Champagne cleanses your palate perfectly. We'll see. And it does. All Very right. good. Another hit, babe. You batted 400 again. Nice to see you guys. Man, this is so exotic. This is not the type of food that you normally cook at home. That's why it's so awesome just to make it, you know, for a weekend and surprise your family and they're gonna be like, oh my God, blown away. Again, a lot of ingredients, but as you saw, a very simple process if you get organized, right? Okay, four things. Subscribe, hit like, share with your friends, and cook it. Cook it, cook it. You have to try this one. Again, very different, very nice very flavorful for the weekend. Now, from Thailand, we're going back to the Caribbean, Dominican Republic. And Ooh. this time we're cooking one of my favorite things in the whole world since I was a child. In fact, I like it so much that I, I order, when I go, I order one thing and then I order chicharron de pollo. Chicken chicharron, it's like chicken crackling things. Oh my God, it's amazing. Come back and see us.